Hello everyone. Today I'm going to see if I can master doing a skinny tumbler in the oven. So I wrapped this one. We're going to see if I can shrink wrap it correctly. These are the white shrink wraps. So let's see. my heat gun. My oven is already warming up. Go ahead and turn your volume down because I don't know how loud this is going to be. You want to make sure you get all the bubbles out. Make sure it's closed. There's no wrinkles or anything. And you want to keep the heat gun moving because you don't want it to activate the ink. So let me see if it's ready. Oh, well, it's way too hot. Turn that down. My temperature said it's 450 in there. Oh, that's way too hot. Okay, well, while that is cooling down, we'll get my other design and I'll get it ready. Oops, let's make sure it's not upside down. Oh, I hope the other one wasn't upside down. My tape is thin. I bought the wrong tape. So I don't pay mind to my thin tape. So you're going to put a couple pieces. Make sure it's secured. You can do three, but since my tape is little, I'm going to put a little bit more. I don't know if I'll be, regret that later, since you have to get it off while it's still hot. Okay. Let me check the oven and see if it cool back down some. And we still got a little ways for it to cool back down. I don't know why it jumped to four, four, um, 450. Okay, so while that's waiting, we'll do the other shrink wrap. And so, so I just tape it really good. Can you see the sides? This one doesn't have a background. It's just writing. So I didn't go all the way because I didn't want the words to... Um, um, overlap. Definitely got to find a easier way. And these are 20 ounce 
um, skinnies. for it to come down. Hmm. I don't want to put it in there and burn it. So. So let's do this again. I don't put it on high because mine is um it doesn't need that much heat and you don't want it to um, melt and you want to be able to control the the shrink wrap want to make sure all the wrinkles there's no bubbles that it's tightly on there let's see what the temperature is okay so that temperature is good so let me show you what it says so there it is Hopefully you guys can see that. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, and I already have my timer set. Oops, no, it disappeared. So there's my timer. I'm gonna set you guys back down. Sorry for the ride. Okay, let's go ahead and put this one in. And I'll bring you guys back over to show you how it looks. And you set the timer. The timer is going. So we're just going to watch it cook. Okay, so we'll come back in four minutes before I take it out. So I'm gonna just pause it. All right, we're back. We got a minute and a half. Um, I'm gonna take this one out and then I'm gonna put the other one in. Then you guys can see them hopefully both done. So I have my little thing to take it out because I had gloves, but it sticks to it. And I have tweezers, I have scissors, uh, my cricket thing, my weed eating thing, and I got bigger scissors because I got to figure out how to take it off real fast without scraping the bottle and also um, off in one piece. So we'll see how um, how that goes. And we'll see if this comes out right. I don't know, I might have to adjust the time or or something, I don't know. But it's on bake. When I had it on the other one, it jumped up to like 450 degrees, so that wasn't correct. So I put it back on bake. And it seems like it's between that 150 and 400, so maybe 370. 
380. Not really sure. We have um, 20 seconds. I can start seeing the image. So that's a good thing. That's a very good thing. Okay, here we go. Went ahead and put the other one in. Let's start the timer. Let's hurry up and take this off. Wow, it's still hot. If you can get a piece and just grab it. And I would do that. I just know you gotta go while it's hot before it, while it's still soft. And then it's gonna start getting hard like right there. Got it off just in time. Okay. Let's see. Kinda nervous. You know when you do lives, nothing comes um, comes out right. So let's see if I burnt it or anything. Wow! Whoa! Wow! Very impressed. <sighs> Let me see. So it looks, looks pretty good. It looks like my picture. Doesn't look burnt. Let's see, there's my seam. Let me see if I can hold it up. You can see a little bit on the bottom and just follow that up and then it kind of disappears. But I already kind of knew that one because that's where I was taping it. But it got the top, got the bottom, yes. I did them in my mud press. I had different shrink wraps. It was, it's been a nightmare. And then of course I took a long break from doing them. So no ink is left on the paper. And these do taper a little bit. They're not totally straight. So you have to do mess with your design and stuff. But I am totally so excited. I'll be ready for the holidays now. Um, it's still warm. There, is that better? Let's say we got a minute for the next one. The next one is just words with no background. Because I wanted to see what um what I if I had to do something different. I will put the the link to the heat gun, Home Depot, the oven, um, Walmart, tumblers. Everybody pretty much carries them. Just make sure they're sublimation tumblers. Not Walmart tumblers. Not 99 cent store tumblers. They have to be special coated. So buy them from someone you trust. Because they're not cheap to buy. And then they're not cheap when you mess them up with the wrong shrink wrap. and the wrong. So don't try to go too cheap. Or don't go cheap at all. Don't buy the shrink wrap that you use to wrap your bags for the holidays. And stuff like that. It doesn't work. 
Make sure you buy them from people you trust. Okay, we got 30 seconds. And I got these, I think the 99 cent store, Walmart, I use them for everything. Because I got small hands and the gloves, they don't make them for like grown up gloves for kid size. <laughs> and then I just use regular heat tape that you have to buy from sublimation company or someone that sells sublimation a vendor you cannot go to walmart you cannot go to the 99 cent store and i found my little cricket weeding knife i mean hook thing works wonders so let's see if it works again okay let's see get all nervous because it's so hot. Definitely got to find a faster way to um, take it off. Ouch. Mm. It's already getting hard. Got to get it off before it gets hard. Whew. Okay, this one. Okay. Okay, let's see. So, it's my black is black everywhere. Yep. My glitter is popping. This design I made. I did buy the gold flower in the middle, but everything else is mine. So hot. So there you go. If you haven't tried it, try it. Perfect gifts, personalized. You can't get at no store. I'm totally excited. I did a full bleed and a one with no background. I mean, it's, there's my line. Got any questions, drop them in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them. Thank you so much. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do. Thank you.